we have a huge problem on our hands and it's giving all internet marketers a really, really bad name. And I wanted to make this video to make you aware that there are actually good internet marketers out there. And I actually thought about not doing this video because it's just gonna be a big rant video with obviously information and proof. But I just thought I wasn't going to make this video, but then the emails just kept coming in from this one particular internet marketer and I just made me realize that this is insane and anyone who isn't aware of this will actually get sucked into it. So hopefully after this video, you will be fully aware of what's out there and you'll be a bit more careful with your money. Now, before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make videos on Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday about print on demand, internet marketing, Amazon FBA, more recently YouTube, and just, you know, making money online and hopefully you'll enjoy those videos. So hit that subscribe button and let's get on with the video. For anyone who has been watching me for a while now, you know I try to be as blunt, as genuine, and as honest as possible in all of my videos. And there's there's quite a, a saying, a thought, that you've got to like tread on other people's toes to make it to the top. You've got to screw other people over to, you know, make it big. And, and anyone who's big and successful and is a millionaire has screwed over a lot of people. But I really don't believe in that. And I actually would prefer to not have lots of money and do everything ethically than be really, 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 really rich um, but having screwed over many people below me. So I really, really want you to understand I try to be as blunt and as genuine as possible and you could probably tell if you watched any of my previous videos. So that is where this video is coming from. It's coming from me trying to do the ethical thing. Now, especially with internet marketing, there is a lot of scammy things going on, a lot of scammy things. It's so easy to fake so many different kinds of things. If you think about a course, right, let's say you're gonna buy a course and you see their proof of sales, their bank balance, Shopify, uh, testimonials, whatever. Testimonials can be bought, bank balances can be edited, uh, screenshots can be photoshopped. Like, it's so easy. In fact, here's 10 seconds of me editing a zero bank balance all the way to one million pounds, okay? Isn't that easy? Look, I'm a millionaire. I have a million pounds in my bank balance. Buy my course, right? That is how unbelievably easy it is. Now, obviously, that's not my bank balance, the zero or the million. But my point to you is it's very easy to fake things nowadays. So you've got to be extra cautious. And that is the main reason why I actually have this YouTube channel. Because I want anyone who wants to do any business with me or anything to do with me at all, or maybe even take any of my courses to really feel comfortable with me to know as much as they possibly can about me and not just have some faceless internet marketer telling you to buy, 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 right? This way you're able to actually, you know, comment, I'm able to respond, you're able to watch videos, you're able to, we're able to create a dialogue, you're able to actually see me and it becomes a lot more genuine and you can decide for yourself whether or not you want to trust me. That is why I do this YouTube channel. Now this is all extremely unethical, okay? lying, uh, you know, faking screenshots, faking proof, faking testimonials is firstly not only illegal, but it's extremely unethical. And I'm not saying that a marketer who uses some clickbaity, you know, emails is going to be doing that. However, in my mind, if a marketer or anyone, an internet marketer or anyone really is willing to lie, even a small lie, in my mind, it's a snowball effect and there's no reason why they can't then turn that into a big lie and a big lie and a big lie and a big lie, right? So I think at all times, just be honest and, and this is what you're gonna see from these emails. I'm gonna show you these emails that I've actually received from this person, but I'm not going to show you their name. I'm gonna blot out their name um, because again, I'm not in the business to screw other people over. I also don't know how legal it is for me to talk about other people um, in a negative way that is. So I am gonna blur them out. I don't want them to get screwed over and I don't wanna get screwed over by making this video. So I've got my laptop here, right? I'm going to go through these emails with you. Um, but let me just tell you the reason for this, e the reason for this video mainly is because I signed up for a webinar about a YouTube. You know, I, I, I always love, you know, taking further education, learning, and I always recommend everyone else does that as well. It doesn't matter if you're an expert, you can always learn something new. So I signed up for this webinar and that's what kickstarted this entire thing. The emails that came in, the wording used on the webinar landing page, in the emails, all of it, it was just so fake. Okay, so it all started with a basic ad. I believe it was a Facebook ad. It could have been an Instagram ad, I don't quite remember. But it all started with an ad that led me to a landing page. A landing page is where you end up and you sign up for something. So this landing page was to sign up for his YouTube webinar 
about you know how to make money with YouTube. And the first thing that stood out to me was the fact that it said it was a live webinar and the seats were limited. However, it wasn't a live webinar, it was an auto webinar. And I'm gonna just quickly tangent, explain live webinars, replay webinars, and auto webinars, what are they? Well, a live webinar is you know live, me talking actually live to you, real time, not recorded. Uh, a replay is a recorded session of that live webinar, and you can go and watch that. And then an auto webinar is when someone turns that replay into a repeat webinar that people can go and watch at any point in time. They can choose like to watch it in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's basically run on repeat over and over and over again. So a live webinar is the best because it's, it's literally live, right? Um, the, 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 the presenters on the spot. A replay webinar, you kind of only send out once or twice like a week after, a couple of days after to a week after, and then auto webinar people do if the webinar was really successful and they wanna keep it running forever. Now the ongoing fakiness that happens on the internet is people say that auto webinars are live webinars and they market them as live webinars for you know scarcity reasons. If I say to you, come to this webinar, you can watch it whenever you want and it's never gonna go down, you're probably not gonna go and watch it. But if I say, come to this webinar, you've got one more chance to watch it before it's gone forever, right? Then you'll go and watch it. It's scarcity, except it's a lie. And I don't like that. The reason I knew this wasn't a live webinar is because I was able to pick a slot in 15 minutes, half an hour, or 45 minutes, or hour. And I knew for a fact he wasn't, what well, he couldn't have been doing a two hour live webinar every 15 minutes. It's impossible. And as an internet marketer myself, I kind of know these things, right? So I knew exactly it was not even a replay. It was an auto webinar, which means it's never going, it's gonna be online for a long time. So let's go through the, the emails that I got from him. Okay, so the first email is saying just, I'm confirming your seat, there's nothing wrong with this email, it's quite a basic email, you know, come 50 minutes before we go live, blah, blah, blah. The fact that they say before we go live is just, it's not necessarily, not, not necessarily saying the video is gonna be live, it's just saying before, you know, people say that before this video goes live is just a way of speaking. However, when you get to the bottom, it says, please remember these three things. Make sure you have two hours blocked to attend this live training. No, that's not live training, it would be this training. And then make sure you show up five minutes early if you, um, otherwise you could lose your seat because there's a maximum of 250 people. That's also a lie because there's not a maximum of 250 people on an auto webinar. And um, it doesn't matter if you lose your seat, you can just watch it in 15 minutes time after that. So who cares? And then, right. Okay, that was the first email. The second email is because I wanted to, I actually missed the first webinar, I was busy, I was out. So I signed up for it again. But the first, the, the, but he's basically saying, don't miss it in the first email, right? The second email is um, saying, I wanna make sure you're ready. It's starting like 15 minutes or an hour or something, okay? And not such a big deal email. And then he goes, I'm going live in 15 minutes. Again, just a reminder that he's going live. And then, you know, saying, the only catch is you have to attend this or you'll lose all of the bonuses and stuff, except you can get the bonuses if you attend the next one or the one after. So again, a bit of a lie, but it's still not that bad, okay? It's not that bad. And then you've got, um, I noticed you missed the 100K a month, you know, live, live training. I wanted to see if everything was good. And I also want to let you know that I'm going to be holding the training again today if you're still interested in watching us generate over 100K. So they're holding the exact same training again today. What are the chances? That's, that's amazing. And uh, yeah, but then again, however, after that, after this, that's it. If you're interested in attending the live event, click here, right? So this is it, this is my last chance. I'm up to email four of 12, right? And then he goes, I wanted to get this to you before it's too late, right? So firstly, just look at the subject lines, right? I'm confirming your seat, okay? I'm giving you one hour. Um, I wanna show you, okay, that's fine. Um, are you okay? Why did you miss the live training? It wasn't live. Um, urgent, I'm giving you one last chance to work with me. Next one, I wanna show you how to make money. Next one, I'm giving you this one last chance. Next one, how these four people made 10K in their first month. <laughs> so like, I thought I was up to my last chance at this point. Uh, but anyways, it's ridiculous. It actually shocks me. Anyway, so then again, join the replay. Ah, oh, so here we go, this is even funny. So I'm watching, he's saying, okay, look, thank you for attending our live training event, which wasn't live, um, but let's get real. I want you to actually buy the course in a way. That's what he's saying. Um, so here you can watch the replay. A re like, you know what a replay is, I explained a replay earlier, right? A replay is 
um, when you have a live webinar, you have a replay going for like a couple of days afterwards. So he says, I've included the control so you can skip. I mean, thank you for that. And then he's got, there's only 24 hours left to get this, right? And a 3K off goes down, right? And then you make me sad. You're losing your chance to work with me, right? I want to, I want to let you know there's only three hours left, right? And then more rubbish and then more emails, okay? And it's like, it's closed, right? Uh, you can't get it anymore. Oh no, it's closed. But I, I can get it because I went to the website and I could just sign up again and then get it. So it hasn't closed. And that's that's the one thing, okay? So I've got another email after that, which is it's just another one saying it's closed. But that's the one main thing which really frustrates me is when a marketer says their course is closed when it's not really closed. Because that in itself is a huge unethical lie. To say to someone, you have got to buy the course right now because it's closing and you know what? it's now closed you can't get it when in actual fact it's not closed and they never intended to close it they are always intended to get as much money from you as possible so that is one thing i absolutely hate what they can say is they can say three hours left before the price goes up and then maybe the price goes up and if it does go up then good for them they're keeping to their word but to say the course is closed i just don't like that especially if they're not even planning on closing the course it's just scarcity lying tactics. Well now why is all of this a big deal? Why is this video a big deal? Why am I making a big deal out of this whole scenario? Well firstly I just because I wanted everyone to be aware of what is out there and the you know the possibilities out there that you, I don't want you to be taken advantage of really and I have to say as a marketer myself I see this a lot more than you know a lot of other people. I had other people check it out and they didn't really notice anything such a big deal but I'm actually seeing these little things that are really really you know wrong and I have been actually scammed massively. We were scammed out of $10,000 as a coaching program and I haven't decided whether or not I'm gonna make a video on this just because I don't know about the legal implications, but it made me really want to make everyone, everyone possible aware of what can actually happen out there, which is why I'm also gonna ask you to do one thing. If you've watched this far, okay, if you watched up to this point, I just want to ask you to please share this video, okay? Usually I'd ask you to comment or to like, whatever. You can still do those things, that would be amazing, it would help me. But please share this video because I want as many people as possible to watch this and be aware of what is out there so that they can be a bit more wary and they can, you know, be a bit more careful. That's, that's the most important thing, just to be careful and to really understand who you're going into business with. Now, I just also want to say, I'm not saying that this person is a scam artist. I'm not saying he's a fake guru. I'm not saying anything like that. He could be 100% legitimate. He could have real results. He could have a really good course. I don't know. All I know is that I don't trust him. I don't trust his third money back guarantee, so I would never buy his course. I can't test it um, for you. But my point is, I don't know if he's a scam, but I'm just saying this kind of marketing lets, leads me to believe if he's going to lie in the emails like this, why is he not lying in the testimonials? Why is he not lying in the in, in the in the screenshots? Is this course even does it work now? Is it dead? Is it over? Like it just it it gives me, it puts a lot of questions in my head and it makes me, you know, wonder if I even want to do business with him. Which is why, like I said at the beginning, I made this YouTube channel so that people can see me and I also made the my Instagram channel so people can, you know, watch my live my, my stories. You know, I do live stories, not really live stories. But I do stories every single day of just my life, like painting my room or or redoing my house or you know going somewhere. Like I just so that people can see I'm a genuine, real person. I'm not just someone behind a computer like typing money, 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 give me money, email money, like that kind of thing. I don't want that. Now I also know this wasn't a normal video for my channel. I just felt like I had to make this. Usually it's print on demand, Amazon FBA, you know, making money online. But I just felt this is a very important topic, and I think you should all be aware of what's out there, the possibilities out there. And, you know, I want you to all be really, really careful. So that's why I made this video. It's not like a normal video for my channel. And I probably won't make another one like this. But I just wanted you all to be aware. So thank you very, very much for watching. And as, like I said, if you have watched this far and you do really believe what I'm saying and understand what I'm saying, then please share this video so other people can see it as well. And if you want to like it, that will help me get more views and help the algorithm. And if you want to leave a comment, you know I love reading your comments, replying to every single comment. I literally spend hours every single day responding to everyone's comments. So just send me whatever messages you want and I will try and respond to them in the comments. But I just wanna say more importantly, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you on Tuesday for Tuesday's video.